Caves are typically known for their mysterious beauty, concealed beneath the Earth's surface, hiding secrets of the past. But sometimes, scientists discover something that not only defies explanation, but sends shockwaves of terror through the entire world. Join us as we look at 15 shocking and terrifying things discovered in these places. Number 15. The Stone Sphere in Bosnia in the forest, close to Zavodovici town in Bosnia, a massive stone sphere was discovered. It measures one and a half meters in diameter and weighs around 30 tons. Bosnian archaeologist Samir Osmanagic made this incredible find. He thinks this sphere isn't just nature's handiwork, but an ancient artifact from a mysterious civilization that lived in Bosnia over 15,000 years ago. The high iron content, perfect round shape, and its location near Vizicica mountain hint at this ancient origin. Osmanagic believes Vizicica is a genuine pyramid, like those in Mexico, and he's investigating this area, hoping this sphere will lead to more discoveries, supporting his theory. Surprisingly, this one and a half meter sphere isn't the only one found in Bosnia. Smaller stone spheres popped up in Maglaj and across Zavidovici. Locals see these spheres as powerful items, attributing their robust health to them. But scientists have a different take. They propose these round objects are iron concretions formed during sediment compression in coal deposits. Over time, these layers take on a ball shape as the material equally builds up in all directions. However, neither the theory of ancient civilizations nor this explanation about iron concretions has solid evidence backing them up. Number 14. Plane in the Jungles of Papua New Guinea In 1972, during helicopter exercises in the jungles of Papua New Guinea, employees of the Australian Royal Air Force stumbled upon a surprising discovery. A plane nestled in the Agayambo Swamp. Upon closer examination, they found it to be an American all-metal heavy four-engine bomber, a B-17 Flying Fortress. These aircraft were manufactured from 1936 to 1945 and played a significant role in World War II. Utilized by the Royal Air Force of Great Britain and the U.S. Air Force for strategic daytime bombing missions targeting German industry. The B-17 discovered in the jungles of Papua New Guinea had been there since 1942, when Captain Frederick Fred Eaton Jr. was compelled to make an emergency landing after enemy fighters attacked the plane. Remarkably, the entire crew of nine survived. A month after the crash, a local villager spotted Captain Eaton and his team, guiding them to safety. Despite sustaining damage, the plane surprisingly avoided severe corrosion. It now resides in the Pacific Aviation Museum in Pearl Harbor, earning the nickname Swamp Ghost due to how it remained almost invisible, nestled in tall grass during rainy seasons. Number 13. The Alien Mummy from Atacama in 2003, in the deserted town of Lenoria within Chile's Atacama Desert, artifact seeker Oscar Munoz stumbled upon an enigmatic find. Inside an abandoned site, he discovered a mysterious white bundle containing a peculiar mummy. This tiny being looked somewhat like a human, but bore a striking resemblance to a humanoid figure. The mummy stood at a mere 15 centimeters, or 5.9 inches tall, with an elongated skull and just nine ribs, unlike the usual count of 12. This unusual creature, dubbed the Atacama Humanoid, gained immense attention due to its alien-like appearance. Scientists from Stanford University eagerly delved into studying this mummified specimen, hoping to confirm its extraterrestrial origins. However, the DNA analysis revealed an unexpected truth. The Atacama Humanoid was a human, specifically a female child, who passed away shortly after birth. The child had various mutations that contributed to her distinct appearance resembling an alien. It was determined that the girl's mother, likely of Chilean descent, had wrapped her child's body in white cloth and placed it in the desert around 50 years ago. The Atacama Desert's extreme dryness naturally mummified the body under the intense sun. While this revelation seemingly solved the mystery, some scientists remain skeptical about the credibility of Stanford University's findings. Number 12. The Antikythera Mechanism Discovered in 1901 near a Greek island, the Antikythera mechanism was part of an old ship's wreckage. It had a bunch of gears and pieces, but it wasn't until 1951 that an English historian, Derek de Soya Price, got curious about it. He thought this thing might be some kind of computer. Price spent more than 20 years trying to figure it out. Finally, after lots of study, Price made a copy of the device. He figured out it was a tool for looking at the stars and planets, like the Sun, Moon, and maybe even Mars, 
Jupiter, and Saturn. Then, about 40 years later, another expert, Michael Wright, agreed with Price. Wright said the device could also track Mercury and Venus. Also, modern technology showed that this old gadget could do math stuff and handle how the moon moves in a curved path. This ancient machine is super complex. It could even predict some things that happen in the sky. What's surprising is that this ancient invention is as smart as mechanical clocks made in the 14th century, even though it was built around 100 BC. The Antikythera mechanism is like a mix of science and building skills from a long time ago. It could show how stars moved and calculate events in space. It's a big deal because it tells us how smart and creative people were in ancient times. This incredible gadget keeps amazing experts and fans, revealing how much people knew about science and technology way back then. Number 11. Terracotta Army In 1974, a Chinese farmer discovered an incredible thing near Mount Li. It's known as the Terracotta Army, and some call it the eighth wonder of the world, and rightly so. This amazing creation boasts 8,100 soldiers, archers, and chariots, all crafted from clay and standing at full human size. Each sculpture was handmade, making every single one unique. The soldiers weighed around 150 kilograms, or 330.7 pounds, while the horses were even heavier, weighing over 300 kilograms. The most fascinating parts of this structure are the bronze chariots, adorned with silver and gold, each made from more than 300 different pieces. These warriors stand in perfect order, facing eastward, the direction where enemies often attacked. The setup mimics a real army, with infantry in the front row followed by cavalry, archers, officers, and commanders. Among the warriors, there were also clay statues of high-ranking people, birds, and animals. The idea to create this clay army belonged to the first emperor of the Qin dynasty, Qin Shi Huang, who ruled from 245 to 210 BC. When he was just 13 years old, he decided to build his tomb. The terracotta warriors were meant to accompany him after his passing. The construction involved an enormous workforce. Over 700,000 workers and craftsmen participated in creating this marvel, and it took 38 years to complete. This remarkable discovery tells us so much about the history and creativity of ancient China. It's astonishing to think that each of these sculptures was made by hand, showing the incredible skill and dedication of the craftsmen who created them. The Terracotta Army stands as a testament to the grandeur and ingenuity of ancient Chinese civilization, captivating the world with its sheer scale and artistic excellence. Number 10. Viking Sword During a severe drought at Lake Vatern in Sweden, a local resident named Andy Vanacek was setting up buoys near his home to alert boats about the low water level. His eight-year-old daughter, Saga, was helping out when she spotted something resembling a sword hilt at the lake's bottom. When she lifted the strange object, it turned out to be a sword. Together with her father, they handed the sword to specialists at the Yongkuping Museum for study. The experts confirmed the artifact as Viking Age, dating back about 1,500 years. Remarkably, the sword was remarkably well preserved. Now, experts are diligently working on restoring the sword, preparing it for display as a museum exhibit. This extraordinary discovery by the young girl prompted researchers to explore the area near where the sword was found. Their efforts paid off when they discovered a brooch at the lake's bottom, dating back to the same era as the sword. However, it remains a mystery how these ancient artifacts ended up at the lake's depths. The find by Saga caused quite a stir, shedding light on Viking history and raising questions about the lake's past. The artifact's discovery opens a window into the Viking era, offering insights into their lives and activities. The lake, now revealing long buried treasures, has become a focal point for historical inquiry. The sword's excellent condition after spending centuries submerged in the lake's waters astounded experts, underscoring its significance and potential for enriching our understanding of ancient Viking culture. This unexpected discovery has sparked renewed interest in the region's history, drawing attention to the mysteries hidden beneath the lake's surface. As researchers delve deeper into this historical puzzle, they hope to uncover more clues and answers regarding the intriguing presence of these ancient artifacts in Lake Vatern. Number 9. Giant Crater in Nigeria On the night of March 28, 2020, the residents of Akur, a big city in Nigeria, were startled awake by a massive explosion near their homes. This unexpected event caused serious damage to over 100 houses, leaving people shocked and concerned. When rescuers rushed to the scene, they were met with a breathtaking sight. 
a colossal crater measuring 21 meters or 68.9 feet across and more than 7.5 meters deep. However, the cause of this explosion remained a mystery. Local authorities initially suggested that a truck carrying explosives destined for a neighboring region caused the crater. But upon investigating, no traces of ammunition or military gear were found nearby. Moreover, the scale of destruction didn't seem proportional to a mere truck explosion. Consequently, many people doubted this explanation. Another theory emerged among astronomers and geologists that a meteorite might have caused the powerful explosion. According to their assessment, a large meteorite hurtled through the atmosphere at a staggering speed of over 85,000 kilometers per hour, slamming into the Earth at a 43-degree angle. Interestingly, NASA had foreseen the potential for a meteorite to fall in March or April 2020. The celestial companions of this meteorite were asteroid 2012 XA, about 400 meters wide, and asteroid 2020 FJ4, up to 10 meters wide, which both passed close to Earth on March 26th. Strangely, despite these significant events involving celestial bodies, the incident in Accor received minimal media coverage, primarily only mentioning the initial explanation of a truck explosion. The contrasting theories about the cause, the truck explosion versus the meteorite strike, left the community puzzled and seeking answers. This unusual occurrence left the city baffled, stirring discussions among experts and the public alike. The mystery surrounding the cause of the explosion in Accor continues to captivate interest and raise questions about the possibilities of celestial impacts on Earth. As investigations persist, the search for the truth behind this puzzling event remains ongoing. Number 8 underwater Mayan artifacts. In Central America, close to the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexican researchers made an incredible discovery of ancient artifacts linked to the renowned Mayan civilization. These treasures, some dating back up to 10,000 years, were found within Mexico's largest underwater cave, Sac Octun. Deep underwater, researchers found the remains of humans and animals, including bones from ancient sloths, bears, and gomphotheres, which existed even before the onset of the Ice Age. Experts suggest that this cave acted like a trap, where both animals and humans got stuck once they fell in. Additionally, various fragments of ceramic dishes, wall engravings, and religious items belonging to the Maya were uncovered at the cave's base. Sak Aktun hasn't been entirely explored yet. It links to another underwater cave called Dos Ojos, creating a combined length of about 350 kilometers. There's a possibility that Sakaktun might connect to three other underwater caves, further complicating underwater research. Modern technology enables scientists to study the artifacts without moving them from their natural underwater habitat. Presently, researchers are primarily focusing on exploring the cave's biodiversity. The cave's waters have low oxygen levels, enabling accurate age analysis of the discoveries with minimal error. This discovery is immensely valuable to scientists, as it sheds light on the culture of this ancient civilization. Some researchers even refer to Sac Aktun as the mother of all cenotes, which are natural caves filled with water. The Maya were deeply religious, believing in life after death. According to their beliefs, such caves served as a pathway to the afterlife, leading the deceased to the world beyond. Sac Aktun's significance lies not just in its archaeological finds, but also in potentially unraveling the beliefs and rituals of this ancient civilization. Researchers are considering the possibility that Sak Aktun wasn't a mere trap, but might have been a sacred burial site, guiding the departed to the realm of the dead based on the Maya's spiritual beliefs. Number 7. Mysterious Monolith in Utah on November 18, 2020, a team of American biologists from the Department of Environmental Protection headed to Utah's desert area by helicopter. They were on a mission to track the population growth of wild rams. During their flight, one biologist spotted a strange gleaming object catching the sunlight. When they investigated, they found a metallic column, about three and a half meters tall, nestled at the base of a mountain crack. The researchers named it the monolith, drawing a connection to the monolith in the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey believed to be left by extraterrestrials. News of this curious discovery spread across the internet, but pinpointing its exact location wasn't easy. The first person to find its coordinates was David Zerber. However, upon reaching the site, he discovered that the monolith had vanished, leaving only a mark on the ground. Strangely, right after the disappearance in Utah, an identical structure appeared in Romania. This kicked off a chain reaction globally. Similar metallic objects, the monoliths, were found in California, the Netherlands, Germany, the UK, Spain, and even Colombia, 
within a span of two weeks. Intriguingly, they all vanished after some time. These metallic monuments have become some of the most mysterious objects on Earth. The creator behind them remains unknown. Some speculated that American artist John McCracken, known for creating similar sculptures, might have orchestrated this global display. He had connections to New Mexico and produced similar artwork. However, this theory lost traction when McCracken's family denied any link between him and the monoliths after his passing in 2011. Number 6. Ship with Gold in Namibia Miners from the diamond mining company De Beers had to drain a lake in the Namib desert for their work. During this process, they stumbled upon a remarkably well-preserved ship, later identified as the Portuguese ship named Bom Jesus. The vessel was en route to India in 1533, when a severe storm led to its shipwreck, causing it to wash ashore. Experts estimate that approximately 300 individuals, including wealthy passengers and their servants, were aboard the Bom Jesus. The ship's tragic fate resulted from harsh weather conditions and severe overloading in its cargo hold. Among the discoveries were an astounding amount of riches, more than 22 tons of copper ingots, numerous gold coins, and over 50 elephant tusks tallying up to a total value estimated at over $13 million. Interestingly, this particular region of Namib earned the moniker Skeleton Coast due to its thick fogs, stormy weather, and the cold Benguela Current, making it perilous for ships to navigate. Sailors who managed to survive shipwrecks found themselves stranded on this inhospitable coast within a parched desert. The entire desert along Africa's west coast spans 1,900 kilometers, presenting an immensely challenging environment for those attempting to survive after a shipwreck. Number 5. Ship Found on a Farm in southern Norway, close to the city of Halden, archaeologists conducting a survey with a special ground-penetrating radar noticed a sizable object, roughly 17 meters long, hidden beneath the ground. Upon further examination, they confirmed that it was the buried remains of a ship dating back over a thousand years. This ancient vessel lay concealed beneath the agricultural lands, a remarkable discovery for one of the Norwegian farmers. Experts from the Norwegian Institute for Cultural Heritage Research suggest that this ship was utilized as a burial site for a wealthy and influential Viking warrior. However, it's yet uncertain if any human remains or valuable artifacts are still within the ship's confines. Presently, scientists plan to commence excavating the ship. Their study aims to uncover more about Viking burial customs and rituals previously unknown to us. Number 4. Underground City in the Basement of a House the surprise of a resident in the Turkish province of Nevzahir when, during the renovation of his home, he stumbled upon a mysterious room. Upon entering, he discovered a long tunnel that led to an eight-level underground city. Astonishingly, this tunnel directly connected from the man's basement to one of the deepest ancient underground settlements known as the City of Derinkuyu. This ancient city was remarkably extensive, with its deepest level reaching around 85 meters underground. Within its confines, there were numerous tunnels that housed essential amenities for a rather comfortable life. Living quarters, shops, food storage areas, livestock stables, and more. Moreover, the city boasted a well-designed ventilation system, demonstrating its ability to shelter up to 20,000 inhabitants and shield them from potential enemy incursions. The exact origins of the Derinkuyu are a subject of debate among scholars. According to the Ministry of Culture of Turkey, it was constructed by Phrygian tribes during the 8th to 7th centuries BC. However, an alternative theory posits that the city might have been founded by the Indo-European Hittite people between 1900 to 1200 BC. Number 3. Ancient Tools of Hindustan In 2018, Indian scientists made a groundbreaking discovery that reshaped the understanding of ancient human technologies. They uncovered tools that pushed anthropologists to reconsider their assumptions. Prior beliefs suggested that hominids in modern Hindustan ceased using primitive tools around 140,000 years ago. However, the age of the tools they unearthed dated back over 385,000 years. These tools, including flakes, scrapers, and knives, were crafted using the Lavoisian technique. This method involved crafting finer, more sophisticated tools from a carefully chosen base material. By chipping off fragments from this material in a planned manner, they created rounded or pointed flakes, ready for immediate use or requiring minimal finishing touches. The tools discovered in Hindustan are currently regarded as the oldest known examples made with the Lavoisian technique. 
Previously, the tools found at the Jebel Irhud site in Morocco, dating back 300,000 years, held this distinction. This finding significantly extends the timeline for the use of advanced toolmaking techniques by ancient humans. Number 2. Catacombs of Paris Paris is renowned as one of the world's most romantic cities, yet beneath its charming surface lies a startling sight that can surprise any visitor the Catacombs of Paris. This place encompasses extensive tunnels, housing the remains of more than 6 million people within an area spanning 11,000 square meters, or 118,403 square feet. For context, Paris today has a population of 2.2 million. Just imagine, the number of remains entombed in the catacombs surpasses the living population of the city by almost threefold. A truly staggering fact. But how did these tunnels come to be? And where did these countless bones originate? When Paris was in its early development, quarries existed within its territory. As the city expanded, the catacombs grew alongside it, forming an intricate network of tunnels. Over time, parts of Paris were constructed directly above these tunnels, posing a risk of potential collapse. In the late 18th century, several mass graves at the Cemetery of the Innocents caved in, leading to the bones ending up in some house basements, further complicating the city's situation. In response, the authorities of Paris took action. They opted to create an ossuary within the catacombs. Many cemeteries were closed, and the human remains were carefully transferred underground after disinfection. Today, sections of the catacombs are open to tourists. The accessible tunnels for tours cover a total length of one and a half kilometers, offering a 45-minute journey through this unique and somewhat haunting underground realm. Number 1. Body Inside the Buddha Statue In the early 1990s, a Buddha statue about the size of a seated person was sent to a Chinese museum for restoration. During the restoration process, something astonishing was discovered human remains were found inside. Through scientific analysis, it was revealed that the mummy belonged to a person from about a thousand years ago, a Buddhist monk named Lu Quan. This monk followed an extraordinary practice known as self-mummification. This ritual involved complete renunciation of worldly possessions. In pursuit of true spiritual tranquility, Lu Quan spent most of his days in a motionless lotus position and followed a specialized diet until his passing. According to scientists, Lu Quan's diet mainly consisted of nuts, berries, pine needles, bark, and tree resin. Gradually, his diet became increasingly austere, leading to the body losing fat and moisture. Some of the herbs and leaves he consumed aided in slowing down decomposition. This practice of self-mummification was quite common among Buddhist monks seeking enlightenment. However, Lu Quan's discovery inside the statue was the first time such a preserved religious figure was found. Alrighty folks, that's a wrap for this video. We hope you find it informative and enjoyable. So, which of these discoveries terrified you the most? Share in the comments below. Moreover, if you appreciate our content and wish to stay updated on our latest releases, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Your support means the world to us.